Hey you guys, Brown Eye KK back with another book review. The book I'm going to be reviewing is The Story of Edgar Sawtell by David Warblowski. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but the description will be below in the description bar. In this story, we meet Edgar Sawtell, who from birth has not been able to speak and speaks a language which is a mix of standard sign language and some signs that he has developed on his own. He is growing up on a farm which has been in the family since his grandfather's time where they breed a fictional breed of dogs called Sawtail Dogs. In this story, we meet Trudy, who is his mother, and Gar, who is his father. The characters in the story are very well developed, um, all except for Gar. I wish I would have learned a little bit more about Gar, but the development of the characters is one of the reasons why I like this book. I fell in love with Edgar, also fell in love with the dogs in the story because some of them are actual characters that we hear from in the story, meaning that we can, they're, they're, parts of the story are narrated in the voice of the dogs, especially Almondine, who, I hope I'm saying her name right, who is Edgar's partner in crime. She has basically been around um, him since he was a baby and they have grown up together. So in this story, Edgar's father suffers from a tragic accident at a time when him and only Edgar are on the farm. And because Edgar can't speak, it's a little difficult for him to get help out to his father. He blames himself. himself. Um, you can see that in the story for what he thinks he would have been able to do if he could speak. And the result of that causes some problems between him and his mother, along with the return of his uncle Claude, uh, who I did not like at all <laughs> in this story. So Edgar, as a result of the accident of his father and some things that follow, has to leave the farm and he leaves the farm with a couple of the dogs and lives in the wilderness for a while until he returns back to the farm in order to set things right. So I love the character development in this story, the growth of Edgar as we follow along and watch him grow and we watch the dogs grow and the strength of his mother and their ability to attempt to carry on after the demise of his father. I did not like the way this story ended. I appreciate the finality of it, but I just wish it would have ended differently. For that reason, I'm going to give the story of Edgar Sawtell three out of five stars. I did like the story and I would recommend it for a read. Um, however, I was just a little disappointed with the ending. I love the fact that I could connect emotionally with the characters and especially the dogs. I thought it was so endearing that the dogs actually had a voice in this story. So I give the story of Edgar Sawtell three out of five stars. The next book that I'm going to be reading is Cross by James Patterson. I think that the movie Alex Cross is coming out on Friday. So I want to read this book in advance of the movie so that I can do a book review of Cross and a movie review of Alex Cross. So I will be starting this book probably tonight. Hopefully the movie comes out on Friday and I can get to see that and give you guys a video next week. So once again, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, leave me a note below. Let me know what books you're reading. And also let me know if you have suggestions on any books I should read in the future. I hope you guys are having a great week. Thanks again for watching. Bye.